Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another reading of yours. This is a bonus reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Someone out here who's always been very focused on their independence, focused on their singlehood, someone who always has that practical sense of being independent, okay, someone who's just okay being on their own, is wanting to talk to you. That's the kind of person who wants to reach out to you. This person could be someone who's giving you the silent treatment. You know, someone who's trying to, you know, I feel that you could be in a relationship, not a relationship, but you could be in a situation or a connection with someone where you were with this person, okay, there was emotional fulfillment, but probably this person was someone who was not ready to commit. This kind of person is someone who you've broken up with or you're just not in talking terms with, okay? There is no contact right now, but this kind of person is someone who's wanting to come towards you, okay? They're wanting to come out of isolation and they're wanting to talk to you. This is someone here, you know, who's being very restless, okay? They could be ignoring this entire conversation on a very energetic, on a very mental level here, but they definitely want to talk to you. I feel this person out here, although I see the nine of pentacles upright, I think you're dealing with someone here who's finally addressing their feelings for you. This could be someone who's suppressing their feelings here. I feel you could have reached the ten of cups with them, which is that emotional contentment in the relationship. But if you wanted the ten of pentacles here, I feel this is someone here who's stopping themselves from giving you a commitment, okay? I'm just saying. That's what I can say from all these two cards here. Tell me, what are Scorpio's energies towards this person? What are Scorpio's energies towards this person? Nine of Cups with the Two of Wands in reverse here. <coughs> Scorpio, someone is a wish fulfillment for you, okay? You definitely want to move towards your wish fulfillment here, but you're ignoring making a decision about them. Either you're making this other person keep on, other person wait on you, okay, in order for you to make a decision because you want to stay in your uh, comfort zone. You're fearing making a big, bold, brave decision, okay, and choosing and making a choice which is outside your comfort zone, which is pursuing this person out here, okay? You could be in a long-distance relationship, but I feel that somewhere, somehow, you know that this is your person here, okay? But you're ignoring making a decision. You're choosing not to make a decision and keeping this person hanging. You could be sitting on the fence, okay? You know what to do, but you're not doing it because that other side is what is a lot of fear here, okay? See? Judgment intervals. That, that's what I said. You are keeping things on the edge. Scorpio, if this is not you, this is the person you're dealing with. Someone's keeping things on the edge here. This is a very bad judgment call. This person could be used to making bad judgment calls in the past also, okay? Someone who makes very bad decisions because their decisions are, fa are, are, are based on self-doubt and fear. That's the person on this side here who knows you are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio, but they're not making a decision. They're just scared of what? I don't know. <coughs> Give me this person's energies towards Scorpio. Give me this person's energies towards Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles in reverse here. Yeah. The person on this side here is thinking a lot about the situation, but they're not doing anything about it. They're trying to just take a break right now, okay? This person on this side here is temporarily inactive. Okay, Scorpio, just before I move ahead, okay? I'm going to see this as Scorpio, and I'm going to see this as your person. You can pick the side, but just so that I don't confuse myself, I'm going to keep these two things different, okay? Because I know a lot of people get confused when I say this one and this one here, okay? So this is Scorpio, and this is the person you're dealing with. The person on this side here, Scorpio, that you're dealing with, right, is waiting for you to come towards them. They've invested enough into the situation, okay? Now they're going to wait for things to come into fruition. They're trying to re-evaluate. They're trying to contemplate on the situation. Should I put in more effort or not? Is this getting anywhere close to a commitment? Is there getting anywhere close to the, to the desires that I want? They're holding back, okay? This person's obsessing about communication, but they're holding back. They're not ready to invest into the situation for right now. <clears throat> I think with a hangman here at the bottom of the deck here, this person's just not wanting to do anything about it. They're just going to watch. I mean, it's like, you know, this person's just, you know, uh, hanging from the tree like the hangman does. And they're just observing, you know, they're just like trying to get a feel of it, surrendering to the universe, the universe going with the flow. No action from this person's side. You're also not taking action, okay? Although you know this person's your wish fulfillment here, but you're not. <clears throat> See, nine nines, two nines here. You're very close to ending 
a cycle and starting a new beginning with this person out here or maybe on your own whatever tell me uh, scorpio how does scorpio view this person <clears throat> how does scorpio view this person five of pentacles and the star here you view this person as someone i know getting as i mean according to what the reading is you view this person as a star here okay you put them on a pedestal right now this is your star this is someone you were wishing hoping and praying that things will be okay one day with this person here okay you know somehow somehow with the star here i also feel that this is someone who is also a star someone who's in the public eye this could be a youtuber this could be someone you know who people appreciate you know someone who's doing a lot of uh, psychic work anything okay but you view this person you put them on a pedestal okay i'm literally getting as someone here you know who feels like you know what you you feel like you can't reach for them you know it's like reaching for them it's like reaching for the stars that's how much you respect them that's why you put them but with the five of pentacles here you do view this person as either you view them as being lonely or view your or you view yourself as someone who has been abandoned by this person okay that's what i'm getting i'm getting two scenarios here <clears throat> maybe you feel that this person is missing you a lot okay five of pentacles also that codependent energy right but you miss this person to the core okay it's like you want them so bad lonely isolated abandoned okay that's probably also how you view them but i'm not getting that much because if you did view them as that then you would view them as the sorry it doesn't make sense here but okay you could also view them as someone you know who believes in the universe someone who's very psychic okay who believes in uh, you know a lot of synchronicities etc one person probably this person that you're dealing with seems to me as more spiritual than you okay scorpio okay tell me how does this person view scorpio queen of swords wow they view you as someone who's holding a grudge against them or this could be you holding a grudge against or this could be them holding a grudge against you they see you as someone you know they view as someone who who they don't have the best of memories with very painful memories with you but the queen of swords here they view you as someone you know very, very cold very detached someone who doesn't like who doesn't let their emotions you know uh overcome their logic someone who thinks very head over heart out here that's how they view you okay but with the six of cups in reverse here they could also view you as someone you know who um who's very logical but again someone who they don't have the best of memories here i don't know why they view you as someone they hold a grudge against okay or this person is just um think of the situation very negatively that's what i'm getting tell me why is all this happening wow world in reverse with the ace of wands here <clears throat> something didn't work out in the past you probably wanted a commitment scorpio this person wanted a commitment and things were not moving forward because one person out here was not ready to give you that attention that you deserve or not wanting to give you the label to the connection maybe you wanted public recognition you wanted a label to this connection again i'm repeating myself but yeah that's something that you didn't want there was a breakup separation here but someone's doing a lot of negative self talk here is also what i'm getting okay someone feels you know what it's a waste of time it's just not going to work out that's a lot of lack of self confidence here But why is all this happening here? Because someone refuses to let this end. Okay, someone thinks it's not over. There's unfinished business between you guys, and this person wants a brand new beginning with you. Okay, they refuse to let you go. One person's not going. Okay, I mean one person's not letting go. I think it's this person, Scorpio. It looks like you. You're not letting this person go again. It can be reversed here, but there's one person here who refuses to accept this ending. They just won't let things end between you both because they want a brand new beginning with you. They want a clean slate out here. Yeah, they want to start again. They want to begin from the beginning. Is what I'm getting. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Tell me what is the best possible outcome for Scorpio for the spread. someone definitely sees you as the desired one scorpio they see you as the one the one they want 
the one they want to be with, you're the desi desired one, you're the eye candy, you stick out like a sore thumb, they're very attracted to you, you're passionate about what you do, they're super attracted, okay? There's a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction between you guys here. And the outcome here with the temperance in reverse here, I feel someone's losing their patience here, okay? Someone's losing their patience here. The temperance is the card of going with the flow, right? But there's someone here who is... <clears throat> just not ready to you know they're resisting the flow you know they're trying to control the outcome out here lacking balance someone has emotional issues okay because of which this person could be overdoing things could be you know uh overindulging into alcohol tea tea Someone's lacking self-control here, you know. Someone's not being able to wait anymore. It's like enough is enough, you know. But this is a lack of spirituality also, right? This is a lot of confusion. I feel this person out here is just not being able to wait for divine timing, okay? And in order to distract themselves, they're trying to work on themselves, okay? Or work on their work on themselves. Eight of Pentacles is the card of working on yourself, but this is also putting in the work or just try to be a workaholic, okay? Eight of Pentacles is a workaholic, right? This is someone here who just, there's a lot of confusion. This person does not know what the fuck is going on and they don't know what is, I mean, they're just plain confused here, okay? So one person out here is sitting here pretty, waiting and watching and not investing. I feel Scorpio, you're the one here because you know that this is your person. You know this is your wish fulfillment. This is the one you want. You're holding back your 10th cup because you're only in the 9 of cups here, okay? That's why I resonate the 9 of pentacles here. You're probably someone who likes to be single, act single, even if you are in a relationship and that could be one of the reasons why you don't want to be in a commitment, okay? But yeah, you're holding back, okay? And you're in this constant restless energy of what do I do, what do I do. See, four of swords in reverse here. You're trying to ignore this on a very mental level here, okay? But you know you need to make a decision, right? And you're losing patience here because now it's like I just... Being very impulsive is getting your ring. Someone's being impulsive and the best way they feel is to work on themselves, okay? So they're constantly being a workaholic, just putting themselves into work, digging and burying themselves into work. So yeah, I don't see any movement as yet in your relationship or this situation or, or connection, okay? Because someone is still not ready to make that decision, to want to come towards their wish fulfillment. You are their wish fulfillment, but they're still not doing anything about it, okay? That's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.